e-ink is color change. Uh, it's, it's amazing, it's magical. The possibilities with e-ink are almost infinite. The idea of an e-ink car started a few years ago with the technology itself. When I held this technology in my hands, I knew it was something special, something different, and that I would try my best to get it into our products. The steps involved in making an e-ink car largely focus around getting something that's very 2D, like e-ink, it's like quite a stiff cardboard, to something that's very 3D, like our cars. So we take the car as a large 3D object and we break it down into sections. Once we have these 3D sections, we unwrap from 3D into 2D. But when we unwrap and we use computer-aided design, it's important that we maintain information about the curvature of the car at the important points. Generative design is, is kind of a mighty tool that we use in uh, modeling. Different to, to normally uh, computer-aided styling programs, you're not creating a shape itself, but you are creating um, a kind of algorithm that creates a shape. One great example is the kidney of the IX. If you take a closer look, you will find each triangle defers to the next one. So they differ in size, in the distance to each other, and also in the three-dimensionality along the pattern. And this is designed with an algorithm in the background. We do many tests with paper, and once we're sure that it's perfect, then we laser the e-ink. And then we have lots of little 2D parts that we have to adhere to the car. And you do that, <laughs> you repeat that uh, many times. And at the end of the day, we have to coat the car. So we have to seal it in. Of course, uh, the automotive robustness is important to us so that it can stand up weather conditions and it's robust against being, being hit. So final coating is then the final step. And of course, there's a bunch of electronics and programming that comes after that. e-ink can improve our products in three ways. So first is personalization, individualization. You decide what you want to wear, what your social media status is, and you can decide what your car looks like. Secondly, information. e-ink could help us portray useful information externally. The status of the battery, or you can't find your car, we can make the car flash, and uh, then you see it in your peripheral vision and you know uh, where to go. The third use of e-ink in automotive is a functional use. Through colour, we can control sunlight reflection and thermal properties. We can change the entire car uh, to essentially support climate control and to save energy. With this project, the iX, what we essentially have is a lowest resolution possible, a single pixel car that changes entirely. One great benefit is that it doesn't consume energy. Only when you switch it, it needs a bit of power and then it can stay in this state uh, without any power. So that makes it the perfect material 